Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Shapes.io. It's time for some more chill factory time, I think. Um, do I need red stuff for anything at the moment? I don't. So I'm gonna just get rid of all of this. Uh, no, I'll let that just kind of do his thing. We've got to supply blue right hand columns. So I've got blue paint over this way. I'm wondering if I've got any blue paint near some squares. Because we've got to do some cutting as well for all of this. So I might set up um, another one of these sort of assemblies here. Um, well, actually, let's just get extractors back on this. Just to get rid of all of this paint. I mean, it doesn't really matter if I get rid of it or not. Um, I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it, really. Um, but one thing I kind of forgot about with, with this is that I can also mirror some of this stuff so that I can just flip it, which is very handy when you've got things like this with, you know, slightly awkward input side so you can actually mirror things properly and get a very nice kind of aesthetic look and I also forgot I noticed this during editing um, that it does tell you how fast things move how many items it will process and all that kind of thing uh, so I need two spaces between each painter so I'm gonna do something like this but I also need to make sure that I um, get cutting correct on this. So, let's put this in. We're going to see which... Okay, so then I need to rotate those twice. And then we get them out like that. So that's good. We'll send them off in that direction. We can merge them onto a single belt. And then I think one of these should... Hopefully. Right, that will run 0.5 items a second. Alright, blue paint, I need to bring that in. I'm going to bring that around this way, I think. Just try and do a similar sort of setup. Doesn't matter if I build over all of this. God, I do just love this music, it's just so nice. Really nice to chill with. Um, so yeah, I'll plug these in like so. I don't know if we're going to have enough throughput for all of this just yet, but we will see. Just feed in like that. And then... This, drag that in over this way, and then where is my hub? There it is. Oh, nope, come on. There we go. Feed that in there, and we should start getting the right stuff coming through. Yeah. Now we may need more. We may need another setup like this, so let me just sort that so that we can get enough components. I think it's doing well enough. Oh, hang on, it would help if I plug the uh, paint into these painters. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I know where things are going. But there we go, We're slowly getting this system up and running. I think this will also count towards yeah, the tier 1 upgrade for for this, I think. Um, but all of this is run down now, so I'm just going to wipe the board. I'm thinking I might try to go for some of the upgrade stuff while I'm here. Because it's going to be a while before we get the uh, current main objective done. So let's just wipe all of this. And in fact, let's just complete level 12 to unlock blueprints. That's not what I'm trying to do, I just want to delete. There we go. Uh, okay. 
So let's just drag this up this way. Plug that in there. Ooh, nope. And then with this one, let's just drag this up here. Empty the belt. I'm just going to set up a cutter. See which side parts are going to come through. Okay, so... Boop, boop. I need that to go like that. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now I can just come up here, feed into this. And then we can start working towards... What's it going to be? The belt and distribution upgrade. Then I also need the little top right semicircles as well. So let's just do one of those. No cutter. So we split you like that. And then I think I need to rotate both. Okay. Uh, you like that. Okay, that works there. One, two, three. No, I think I'll need two. This one needs to go three. Yeah, that's got it. So then I can merge that, I can merge that, and then I can merge there. And then we get a full belt of that. Nice. Now, once I get the... Oh, I just realized, can I... I can't mirror the cutters. They're one that I can't do. So what else can I work with? So... Oh, and I do have the counterclockwise. So that would have reduced the amount of stuff I'd need on that, but whatever. Completely forgot what I'd unlocked so far, but color mixing is coming up next, so that'd be something new to play with. Right, we're done with the circles, like the full-size circles, so what I might do... We'll do another one of these, so... Uh, if I counterclockwise that one, yeah, and then clockwise that one, marvellous. There we go, we can just make that run a little bit quicker. I mean, ultimately what I should probably be doing is just setting up like huge scale like, setups for kind of essentially each shape, you know, I can split off whatever from just, like, the base resources and stuff, but I don't know, um, I'm kind of content to just kind of do things as I need. Yeah, I'm still struggling with the throughput on the, uh, rectangles. But we're nearly done with this little objective, so not a massive concern. Wondering what's going to come up next, because I haven't really played this far in. Not. I think I might have completed this objective before, but never really gone past it, so. We'll see what we get. I'm going to try and condense another one of these setups down a little bit as well, so. If I bring it out this way. And then. Counterclockwise, or. Yeah, clockwise and then counterclockwise. They should come out the same. Yes. Ooh, there we go. Color mixing. Awesome. I'll play around with that in a second. Give me a moment. <laughs> I'm playing around with other stuff. So, you need to go clockwise. You need to go... Clockwise. And there we go. That is a much more condensed production line there. Can merge that in up here. Look how much less that's taken as far as the rotators go. Oh, it's lovely. It's probably about as condensed as I can get it. 
but that's pretty good. Okay, so I need... Ooh, there's a compact balancer. What does that mean? Um, <laughs> I need purple. So, color mixer. Uh, I imagine that's going to be a combination of blue and red. So, do I need more of... Yes, I do need more of those. So I'm going to let this system keep doing its thing. I've got blue and circles over that way. Hmm, where am I going to set this up? Okay, I'll do something over here, because I've got red, blue, and circles all... Nope, I don't need a marker. What I need is to zoom back in. So, a mixer. Let's see... how this is going to work. So, presumably just two colours in. And then we get another colour out. We can do 0.4 items per second, so these things are going to be pretty slow. Going to be a real bottleneck on these. So what I'm going to do... ...be something like this. So I can get at least two of these running. Get a couple of painters, and then oh, these are a shape all of their own. I didn't even know. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. How did I not spot that before? I thought that was something I had to achieve with like you know ridiculous amounts of like weird cutting and rotating or something. I didn't realise they were just like a shape by themselves. Oh, get these plugged into the hub. In you go. And then let's get an extractor here. Drag this around this way. Plug you in there. I'm probably going to need a much bigger setup with this purple, purple circles. But if I feed all of this stuff in, like that all, oh, I can already upgrade my mixing and painting. Brilliant. Whoa. Okay, that's an odd one. I wonder what I'm going to need for that. Hmm, that's an interesting shape, but I think things are moving a little bit quicker here now. Uh, if I can get an extraction speed upgrade, that would be awesome. That being said, this is going about as quick as it can, so let's feed another belt in. Try and get that to move a little bit quicker. And yeah, this whole setup needs more of these... So, let's get another couple sorted here. Uh, need another thing like that. Oh, another new upgrade's available. I wonder what it is. Let's have a look. Belt speeds. Nice. Get those moving quick. Oh, and purple circles are also a part of that upgrade. I need 15,000 of them, though. Yikes. So we're really going to be getting into, like, you know, the kind of big-scale sort of productions with this kind of thing, I think. I definitely think I need to overhaul what I'm doing with this, because it's moving incredibly slowly. Okay, let's set up a bigger kind of mixing center. I'll just let all this filter out so that we get a little bit more in. But I guess it ultimately doesn't really matter. So 
Got a load of blue and red over this way. Alright, that's a fuck ton of purple paint production. Um, I forgot this bit. Right, there we go, that will fix it. Uh, sometimes it's easy to get lost in the, in the stuff that you're doing. Um, but now I need to set up a new kind of painting center. Oh, another new upgrade available. So we can get rid of all that. Uh, what is the upgrade? Ooh, the cutting, rotating, and stacking. Stacking, eh? Hmm. And extraction speed. Nice. Ooh, that looks like it could be an interesting one. So I need another paint complex now. Right, feeding in the paint. What is it I need? I need purple circles. So, one, two, three, four extractors. Let's get all of this merged onto a couple of belts just to help ease the throughput. Feed it all in to here. Bring this belt over. And find somewhere on the hub to plug it in. That'll do. Oh boy. There's a fair oh, bugger. <laughs> there is a fair amount of complexity in this. But I'm really kind of enjoying it. It's very nice and chill. As I'm sure I keep saying, but no, this is this is working out much better now. Hell yeah. <laughs> the throughput on this is fantastic. Utterly glorious. Oh, we're even doing alright with things up on this bit. I think we could possibly do with more paint extraction, actually. Let's drag another belt and just plug it into the splitter or into the balancer. That'll just help out even some of the flow. But yeah, this is this is going much better. I've surpassed what I need for this. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna snip this bit on that. I'm gonna put another balancer in there and just bring this around so I can feed it in to here. Because I can get another upgrade for the cutting, rotating, and stacking if I continue to feed those bits in. There's more items that I need to track with all of this as well. It's just loads of stuff. I think we're nearly done with this next objective. There we go. Ooh. That's pretty nice. That really will help to condense some um, of these setups down. Okay. And then we need to deliver this to get the combiner. That's presumably going to be our last little bit of equipment down there. But I think we'll save that for the next episode. This has been pretty good as far as like overhauling setups, getting some upgrades, and playing around with some new stuff. I'm just going to leave it here for now, I think, and then we'll, we'll catch up with this in the next episode. So, yeah. For now, I will wrap this episode up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays and Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, check me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. I suppose. Whoop! Come on. Back up, back up, back up. That's better. Don't shoot the fucking floor.